hey guys welcome back to my channel so i did quite a big marks and spencers order the other day i'm not gonna lie this stuff took quite a while to arrive i think they've just got like a huge amount of orders to get through at the moment um but they have like a bit of a sale on so i ordered some sale items um to run through with you guys a lot of the stuff i ordered is actually bras so i'm gonna run you through the bras first size wise um generally speaking i'm about a uk 16 on top a uk 18 on bottom and i'm five foot seven and bra size i'm normally about a sort of 36 f um and in terms of bras one reason i wanted to order those bras today is because i wanted some more and also i get asked by you guys quite a lot my go-to places for bras and there's a couple of different places so I love lounge underwear for like really cute, sexy little bras. I love M&S because they're really affordable. They have a really good range of sizes and they provide much more kind of like fuller cup style. So if you're looking for like the ultimate support, Marks and Spencers is normally my go-to. Where else do I go? H&M sometimes for like small little bralettes, but nothing too much. Um, but yeah, let me run you through some of these bras first. A lot of them are bras I intend to wear to bed because in case you don't know, I had a breast uplift a couple of years ago and my surgeon recommended to actually wear um, some form of support even when I was sleeping. So I'm always on the hunt for like really comfortable but supportive bras I can sleep in as well. Okay, so first bra I have to show you guys is actually this one. This is classed as a post-surgery bra, um, but it is super, super comfortable. So it's a very kind of like full cup kind of style. This could actually work really well as like a strappy top if you want to wear this like under a certain like top or something like that. Then it's a really good option. It's really full coverage, um, really nice and supportive. There's no underwire in here. It has this really nice kind of thick band and I actually really love this kind of grey just really simple design as well um to show you the back please ignore my tan lines it has clasp fastenings at the back that's one thing I look out for when I'm looking for bras to wear to bed I do like to be able to do them up and undo them at the back and not have to like pull them over my head all the time I like that it's got a clasp detailing there adjustable straps it's nice kind of full coverage. I don't know whether this would bunch up a little bit once I like go to bed and whether that would be annoying, but it's quite supportive actually. For something that's not underwired, it's super supportive. Um, I got this in a 36F, I'd say the sizing is spot on. The fabric is really nice and kind of forgiving, nice and stretchy, but it's also, it's got that kind of stretch where it holds you in, but it's not gonna like dig into you at all. So it is really, really comfortable. It's very good quality. And this was £16, which I actually think is really, really good value for what you're getting. But yeah, positive start so far. Okay, next bra I have on is another kind of one to wear to bed. Um, this one's really comfortable, actually. It's called a flex fit bra. Um, so it kind of has that like seamless, smooth material. You know, when you get those kind of seamless underwear, it has that same kind of material. Um, this one definitely feels a lot more supportive than the one I just had on. Same size, this is a 36F. It's definitely, um, feels a bit tighter than the last one, but I think it feels more supportive. It's still really comfortable. Um, still has those kind of normal bra class fittings. And this is actually a multi-way bra as well. So you can adjust um, the bras at the back, the bras, the straps at the back. So they're not adjustable at the front, but you can actually cross them over. You can have them going straight down like this, or you can cross them over at the back, which I think is a really, really nice feature to have um, in a bar like this. Makes it even more supportive. So this obviously isn't underwired again. It's super supportive. I'm really, really surprised. It's nice and smooth, nice and kind of like high cut. And for a bra to sleep in, I actually think it's not like that bad looking. I think it's pretty cute. It's very simple, just black. Yeah, really nice and comfortable, really good quality. This one's a little bit more expensive. It's 20 pounds. So yeah, 20 quid's not that cheap, but I know Marks and Spencer's bras last a long time. So I think it's still definitely worth it. Quality's great. And I think the sizing is spot on as well. Okay, so this is the last of the kind of sleeping bras. And, oh, there's a bit of fluff on it. Right, 
address the elephant in the room it looks like i've got like a little bra conjoined twin here they've done this really annoying thing it's a two pack and you can't separate them i don't know if i 100 love it yet so therefore i am not separating them so this might sound weird to some people this is actually a nursing bra so it has these kind of where you can obviously if you were breastfeeding it's a nursing bra you get it and i know that sounds really weird because obviously i am not nursing um but they are very very comfortable and i actually i have some nursing bras already and I, they actually make really good sleep bras so this one again has the kind of clasp throughout the back you have adjustable straps it's quite nice and supportive full cup i got this in a size this is a size large this didn't come in bra sizes and it obviously came in a two pack as you can see and these were how much were they 32 pounds 50 for both bras they are very nice if i hadn't have tried that last black bra on i think i'd be in love with these and keeping them but also another thing if they were both black i'd be a lot more tempted to keep these i don't know if i'm in love with this i just think the nude one just looks a little bit so the black one i absolutely love the nude one i'm not so keen on very kind of simplistic design again i think i just prefer the last one a little bit more okay next bra is on these are actually sports bras i got a multi-pack got another little conjoined bra here um a two pack of sports bras and i'm actually really impressed so very kind of basic sports bras anyone who has boobs that are like double d plus you'll know how expensive sports bras can be to get a proper supportive underwired one so as you can see really kind of full coverage with the underwire it's not digging in anywhere nice kind of thick straps you can cross them over or just have them going straight so they're like multi-way ones as well it's quite nice like breathable material it's got like it feels like it would be a wick away material really comfortable i got the pack which has the black and the white i find that bras like this can all be really expensive this pack of two was 30 pounds which i actually think especially for marks and spencers like the quality is really really good really comfortable i like that you have the multi-way option as well um but 15 pounds per bra is really really good actually even if you were ordering somewhere like h&m i'd be expecting those prices so really impressed with that i got this in a 38 f um not sure why i'd say it doesn't feel like there's been a massive difference between the 36s and the 38s that i've tried on and i don't know why i got them in two different sizes but i did and yeah it's really really comfortable i'm pretty happy with these actually okay guys last bra i'm gonna show you before i move on to some normal clothes this is really funny right it's a um underwired non-padded bra simple black lacy number um i've actually got some mum jeans on which i'm going to show you in a minute and i don't know if you guys would have seen my tesco haul that i did the other day these mum jeans are very similar to the tesco ones and this bra is also very similar to the bra i got at tesco's the other day um so it, this is a really nice bra the tesco one i actually think fits me a bit better i got this in a 38 f i will put my hands up and say i desperately need to be refitted i've tried doing the online ones and i just seem to come up like different sizes every time obviously it's not safe to do that at the moment slash you can't go get fitted but when, when i can i'll go and do that um but this is not it's kind of digging in here um it's like it's too wide here um the coverage of the cups is really good the quality is really good at this the price of this is also really good it's 16 pounds which for i mean my tesco one was 10 pounds for marks and spencer's quality i think this is honestly like really really good value the fit on it's just not as good as my tesco one but this is a very good bra as well just yeah it feels like this is coming down really low and i don't know i don't know the fit's just not perfect right guys on to jeans i've got a couple of pairs of jeans to try on i'm just going to take the camera down a little bit okay i find this pretty funny because you know they say when it rains it pours um i have tried on so many mum jeans 
I never seem to find ones that fit me properly. They just seem to always be like the wrong fit. And I found some in Tesco the other day, which I love. And then I found these ones, which are pretty much exactly the same. And I honestly forgot I even ordered these. Um, but these are a great option. Very, very similar to my Tesco ones. Although I'd say these ones have a little bit more given them. So these are the high-waisted mum jeans. I got these in a size 18 regular. So as you can see, the regular on me, I'm five foot seven, is a slightly kind of cropped cut. I personally really like that. I think it's really cute. Looks really cute with like um, sneakers and stuff like that. And yeah, the actual fit on these is really good. So they're nice and high-waisted. As you can see, they like, I don't have a lot of gaping at the back. I've got a big bum and hips. These are definitely curve friendly. Um, these are so similar to my Tesco one. I'd say that these ones definitely feel better quality. These are slightly more comfortable. They have more stretch to them. However, the price is the main difference. So I think my Tesco ones were about 20 pounds. These are 39 pounds 50. So I think it depends what you want from a pair of jeans. If you're just looking for some nice kind of cheap jeans, then obviously the Tesco ones are a really, really good option. But these are definitely gonna last longer. These are slightly better quality. They have a lot more kind of stretch and give to them. Um, but both are very, very good options. It depends how much you wanna spend. But I'm so chuffed that I managed to find. It's not a fluke, guys. Curve friendly mum jeans are out there. Um, yeah, love these ones. Okay, guys, got another pair of jeans on. These are, are not as nice. So these are called the Sophia straight jeans. One of your guys recommendations is if I keep on struggling with mum jeans, maybe just go for more of like a straight cut. So yeah, um, first off, I, I'm not really a fan of this wash. I don't know, I feel like this particular wash looks a little bit cheapy. Um, I either like my wash jeans to be like a nice dark indigo or like a kind of more bleached wash. This is kind of an in-between colour and I'm not sure I'm loving it. The um, <laughs> They don't really look straight, it's like they kind of go straight and they have a little kick out at the bottom which I think looks a little bit weird. Let me just roll it up and see if it improves it. I've got a roll and an unroll and I don't think I like either one of them. Yeah, I just don't think these jeans, they're just no. Um, do you know what though, quality of these are amazing. These are so comfortable. The fabric's like really buttery and soft. There's so much given these. Definitely very comfortable every day wear jeans. Um, not a huge amount of room for the booty. I feel like they're slipping down a little bit at the back. Bit of a love-hate relationship with these, to be honest. Um, anyway, these were 30, no, 29 pounds 50. Um, very good quality. Just, I'm not a massive fan of the wash and the style is just not, I just don't think it's the most flattering style for my figure. Right, next up I have a dress on to show you guys and there's aspects about this dress I really love, aspects I don't. So it's this really cute kind of, this is perfect moving into spring by the way, I'm very much mentally ready to dress myself for spring. Um, it's a really good length, like I said I'm five foot seven. it's hitting me just above my knee, really nice kind of flattering length. I love this kind of frill detail to the bottom, it has like a seam along here and it kind of kicks out a little bit. Very comfortable as well because it has this elasticated kind of waist which cinches you in, perfect for the curvy girls and yeah. It's pretty cute, pretty comfortable. It's not restrictive. You have these kind of elasticated sleeves as well. And it's in this kind of off-white, creamy kind of print with small polka dots. The thing I'm not loving is actually this kind of neckline. It reminds me of like Victorian dresses where you kind of have this stand-up collar. There's actually a button here. Does that not look a little bit Victorian to you? I don't mind the frilly bits on the sleeves, but this whole kind of stand up collar is just, I'm not loving it. I'm really not loving it. it, which is a shame because I really, if it was like this, I'd probably like it a lot more. It's just like that collar. I just think it's like too much having the frill on the sleeves, the frill on the shoulder, the frill on the collar. Um, but apart from that, I really like it. And I think 
it's nice because neutrals are very in right now but it's that kind of it still looks very kind of cute bright and more spring slash summery so i got this in a size 16 regular i love that they have different lengths for dresses like this this is fitting me exactly how i would want it to and sometimes i struggle with dresses because i do tend to wear a size bigger on bottom but yeah if you're between sizes i think you can probably get away with a size smaller um and this was 15 pounds 50. i think the quality is really good i think it's totally worth the money it's just the style of the neckline i'm not loving so a bit annoying but i have another dress to try on and show you guys okay guys next dress this actually isn't really what i thought it was going to be so this is a kind of slightly skater-esque cut dress above the knees are very similar to the last one really really good length on this quite a nice kind of floaty skirt um, i didn't realize what material this would be it's quite weird it's like a thick jersey material kind of like a cross between a sweater and like a jumper dress oh, that doesn't make sense does it it's like a really really thick jersey material which i just wasn't expecting i don't know if i just i'm stupid and i don't look at things properly that's probably the case but it's this nice kind of black with the white polka dots i mean this would be a great kind of work dress in my opinion and i think it's something you can easily dress up dress down um yeah i got this in a 16 regular sizing is spot on exactly how i would like it to fit um and i think the length of this is really good especially since this is like a regular length um so this was in the sale same price as the previous dress for 15 pounds 50. i think that's great pricing especially if you are looking for kind of like office attire obviously i know we're in lockdown at the moment and pretty much nobody's in the office but once lockdown's over, I know a lot of people will be going back into the office. So if you're looking for an office friendly dress that's good for like winter and spring, this could be a really good option and it's in the sale. Okay guys, I've just got some jackets to try on for you guys. First up, I have on this black blazer. I love a blazer. I think they're great to kind of like just dress up an outfit. Like I said, we're gonna be moving into spring soon. I'm excited for it. And I just think, I just love blazers, but I really struggle to find ones that really suit me. Um, and a lot of them seem to be double-breasted. They just don't suit me. And they never seem to be tailored enough for me. Found this one. I'm fully aware this is probably really difficult to see with the black on black. I'm actually kind of digging this outfit, you know. I just chucked on that gray bra with these black jeans again. It, I kind of like it. So it's this single breasted jacket these come in loads of different colors i think they had a camel color i think they had like a mint green color maybe i got this in a size 16 the sleeve length is really good i hope you can see the length on it it's a pretty good length comes down here but it's really nice and tailored i can do it up as well which i can't do up all jackets i try on because sometimes they just kind of hit my bum and kind of bunch up a little bit this is it has like a nice kind of give to it. It doesn't feel like a stretchy, cheap blazer, but it doesn't feel stiff either. It actually has a bit of give to it, but it feels such good quality. The button on it is, has like a little tortoiseshell detail. Honestly, I think this jacket is so well kind of tailored. It do, it's not like a straight cut like a lot of blazers. So if you're on the lookout for a kind of curve friendly jacket that's actually tailored, this is gonna be your one, guys. Um, I absolutely love this. So, I can't remember if I said already, I got this in a size 16, the sizing is spot on, really comfortable, really nice and curve friendly. Quality is really good. Didn't show you this either, it has like a little button detailing there. Yeah, so this was originally 45 pounds. It's currently in the sale. The sale pricing is different for each colour and like sizes and stuff. So you'll have to check the exact colour and size. But for this one, I got this for £31.50. I think that is amazing value. Blazers can be really expensive. And I've tried on blazers which have been like the £40, 40 pound mark before. And they haven't been anywhere near good, as good a quality as this. So I think it's worth the £45. But if you can get it in the sale do it because this is like a really nice jacket 
honestly really impressed with this okay next up i have on this jacket so this is a cotton utility jacket um i'll admit this is kind of outside my comfort zone when it comes to jackets this isn't my usual kind of what i would wear but i know that kind of jacket kind of shirt jacket style thing is very very in right now um i love the color of this it's like got has that kind of cottony denim -y kind of vibe to it i sized up and got this in an 18 purely because i knew that it was going to kind of hit my hips so i would probably it does come with this kind of belt i would probably kind of like do up the belt at the back to kind of cinch it in give you a little bit of shape but wear it open like that it's quite a nice versatile jacket i'm surprised i like this let me try doing it up and seeing what it looks like so it has zipper fastening at the front with three poppers and it comes with this belt um oh, i can never figure these out i find them so annoying there's a knack to this this is probably common sense louise come on whatever let's just pretend that that's the way you do it like that is that right okay so like I said, I've got a size 18. Um, I don't like it done up that much. I want it a bit more like. I don't know. What do we think? What are we thinking? I'm terrified that I'm gonna get makeup on this and I won't wanna keep it. That's my main worry right now. Um, I like that the, ben the bench, Louise, um, the belt is cinching me in. I like that. It's. To wear this style jacket done up, it's not like a really nice kind of, it's a bit, it's not nice to move in. It's quite stiff. Whether the more you wear it, it will loosen up. I do quite like it, but I kind of don't at the same time. I don't know. Um, so this was originally 59 pounds, which like, it's just not worth it. But this is currently in the sale for 31. That's pretty good pricing. Pretty good pricing um i think i like it i just don't know if i like it on me and i don't know if i'd wear it a lot okay i have one last item to show you guys and i feel like this is a bit of a bougie purchase oh my gosh i'm actually quite excited about this okay so i picked up this mac coat Beautiful colour, absolutely love this. I love that natural colour. Find a lot of Max uh, more of a kind of yellowy camel colour. And I love this kind of stone colour. This is actually leather. So yeah, let's try this on a C. I got this in a size 18 because obviously with it being a longer kind of Mac coat, it has to do up over my button. I don't know if this is gonna be a bit like matrixy or what. This is soft, guys. This is soft. So soft. So lengthwise, we're looking good. Really good length. Let me do this up and see. Mm. One thing I don't like, my waist is here. I kind of want a button here. It's only got two buttons. That seems like a bit of a odd situation. Okay. stump with this do you know what it's like i said i got this in 18 i normally wear a 16 on top and it's actually like really it's too big on top as you can see it's quite baggy um it's actually pretty generous in size even on my kind of hips it's not like it's yeah i think i prefer it undone which is normally how i would wear my max i like that this belt is just a tie belt really nice and simple not like that other stupid buckle thing I was going to deal with. Yeah, I'd probably wear it like this, kind of undone. Um, I think I need this in a size smaller though. This is really nice quality. Really, it doesn't feel like your typical faux leather. It's really, really nice and soft. So, like I said, got this in the 18. I think the sizing is spot on, but for me and how I would wear it, I should have stayed true to my top sizing. 
So this also comes in loads of colours. I got it in neutral. They have like a rusty red colour. They have a brown, a blue, a green. Um, and this was originally £79. I actually don't think that's ridiculous pricing for a coat like this. It's really nice quality. The quality of the faux leather is insane. I have honestly never felt a faux leather that's felt so soft like this. Um, so this was originally £79, it's currently reduced to £55.30. I don't know if they're all the same prices across all the colours, so it's worth checking it out. I do like it. £55 is, I think, actually a really good price for this jacket. Um, bearing in mind, like, a little kind of leather biker jacket would be, like, 40 quid around there. So, yeah. It's a very nice jacket. Shame it's just not really the right size for me. Right guys, so that is everything from me today. Some really good bits in that haul actually. Um, I do love Marks and Spencers. I feel like they have um, a bit of a rep for not necessarily being that like fashionable, but there are some really nice pieces on there. And if you like kind of classic, more tailored style items as well, I would definitely go and check them out. And they are really curve friendly as well. They have a really great range of sizes on there. So pretty happy with the bits I got, um, especially the bras and stuff. But I will leave links for everything down in the description box in case you do want to go and check them out. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an upcoming video. And until next time, I will see you guys later.